Welcome back to another episode. Today I'm going to change things up a little bit and I'm going to do a comparison of plugins and to see which one ultimately ends up being the best option. Or maybe you just should install multiple plugins to achieve a common goal. All right, so what we're going to do today is see how to best optimize our images for our websites. And the reason why this is important is because having a fast loading website or web page is a Google ranking factor and will potentially improve the user experience of your website visitors and your search engine rankings. All right, so to get started, we're going to, we're going to be testing out three plugins, uh, WP Smush, Insanity, and EWW Image Optimizer. All right, so I've done some tutorials on each of these plugins individually and showed you the benefit that they provide to your website. And now I'm going to install them individually on different versions of fresh installations of WordPress on my local desktop environment and just compare the results to see which one comes out the winner. And then at the end, I'll install them all and see what impact that has. And I will show you how that will potentially benefit or may not benefit your website. And I'll show you inside the folder of my local computer, the actual results on the file system. And this will simulate the results that you'll get on your server itself. So let's get started. So for the first one, I'm going to go into the dashboard. I'm gonna to go to plugins and I'm gonna see installed plugins. So we have WP Smush, we're going to activate it. Okay, so we have this activated now. So now in the Insanity one, I'm going to go to the dashboard, go to plugins. This one I haven't installed yet, so I'm going to add a new one. And I'm just gonna type out Insanity, and it'll be the first one, very popular. We're gonna install this one. And then we're also gonna go into EWWW. We're gonna go into the plugins, and we're gonna to go to add new. And then we're going to type that out. And the first result should also be the plugin that we want. EWWW Image Optimizer. So we're going to install that one there. Make sure this one's activated. And then on this one, we'll install them all. We go to Plugins, Add New. EWWW, Install. We'll put in Insanity. We'll bulk activate these later. And then we'll put in WP Smush to get the WP Smush it, uh, plugin itself. The WP Smush plugin. And we'll install that one. So we'll activate that one. And now we see that we have on our plugins list of install plugins, we have WP Smush on the Smush version. We have Insanity for this one. And we have EWW Image Optimizer for that one. And now we go here, installed plugins. First, I'll just make sure to delete the default ones here. And then I'm going to activate those three plugins. All right, so now we have those three activated. All right, so now let's go into the settings for WP Smush, and I'll walk you through a very quick settings tutorial. I did another video on this, so I just want to walk you through very quickly. We're going to make sure that everything's toggled in its default settings. We're going to change the image size here to 1140 by 641, just to run a basic test. We're going to update the settings, Okay, so now we have that done. All right, so now let's go into Insanity and let's go into the settings for this one. All right, so now we want to keep everything similar. So what we'll do is put these to 1140 and 641. And the same for the rest of the options. And then we'll leave everything else the same. And we're going to save the changes there. All right, so that's done. On our third website, the one for EWWW Image Optimizer. We're going to go into the settings for this one. And then we're going to go over some of the default settings it has. Um, some of them are premium, but we're going with the free version for now. So we're going to leave this checked on. We're going to go to advanced settings. We're going to set this to four trials and we're going to leave that default. And then we're going to go down and take a look at the other ones. JPEG quality level. We'll leave, we can leave that at 90. We can leave that the way it is. And then resize media images. All right, so this is where we are going to reconfigure to make it 1140 by 641 as well. So we'll put 1140 here and then 641 to keep it similar. And if you want to do it for here as well, this section is for images uploaded indirectly to your 
from up site. And then if you want to resize the existing images, you can do that as well. But we're not going to touch that because uh, we have no images on this setup. And then if you want to disable any options or resize, then you can do that here. If you want to skip certain images, you can do that there. If you want to exclude the full size images from lossy optimization, you can choose that. And then if you want to exclude the images from metadata remove, we can do that as well. But we're going to leave that that way. If you make any changes, save the changes. We'll go to conversion settings. And this one, if you want to delete the original image from the server, you can check this off. And this will reduce the size of the images left on your server, which will save you server space. So this will remove the original image from the server itself. Um, you can choose some of these other ones as well. You do get some warnings. This one, there is no warning. So just go ahead and choose that. Save the changes. And now we have these set up. Okay. So now let's go to the last one. Let's go to the, we're going to do the same thing here. 1140, 641. All right. So we have that done. And then we'll go to the other ones. Insanity. Once that's done, go to EWW image optimizer and we'll save. We'll make sure it's the same as in the other ones. Bring that to four. We're leaving everything the same. We'll put this one to 1140 by 641. We're just going to see what the results are going to be by running all of these plugins together. And do they, does it cause any issues? Does it not cause any issues? Do we get better optimization or not? We're leaving everything else the same. We're going to remove the original image from the server. No warning to just do it. All right, so now we have our last test site set up. So let's go to the first one. All right, so there are no images currently in the library. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag in an image. I'm just dragging in an image from my desktop and we're going to see what the results are. All right, so now we have the image dragged in. So just to show you the property settings of that particular image, the default size of it is 264 kilobytes and the details are 1280 by 720. So just remember that 264, 1280 by 720. So now we have this on our system right here. Now let's bring it into here. We're going to go to library. We have no images there. We're going to bring the same image in the exact same image. We're going to go into EWW image optimizer test site and we're going to bring in the same image there as well. And then we're going to go to our final test site. And now we're going to bring the image in there. It'll process it. All right. So now let's go back to our first one. Let's go into the list view so we can get more details. All right. So now we're going to go just click on the edit screen and see what the results are here. So we see that the dimensions 1140 by 641 for the image that's used here. And the file size was reduced to 119 kilobytes from let me just bring up that properties panel again. 264 kilobytes. Okay, so that was pretty good. Now let's go to our other insanity one and see what the results are here. All right, this one also reduced the dimensions 1140 by 641 and re reduced the file size to 171 kilobytes from the 264. Now the insanity plugin is not meant to really compress the image. It's just supposed to reduce the dimensions to a pre-configured set dimension width and height. So that's why you get a slightly different result here. Uh, it does its job properly, but you see it brings the file size to 171 versus the WP Smush plugin that brings it to 119. Okay. Now let's look at EWW Image Optimizer. Is no do the list view. We see here reduced by 39.1%, 103.5 kilobytes. Image size 160.99 uh, kilobytes. So let's go to the edit view. And we see the the full size dimensions right here, 161 kilobytes uh, of the image file size there. All right, so we see that by these three plugins. The one that seems to be the winner is the WP Smush It in terms of the image being compressed. All right. And if we look at the image quality, they look pretty similar. But now let's see about our final 
option where we installed all three plugins combined. And now what was the impact of this one? We go to the edit view and now we see on our last result only 161 kilobytes. We see that the last option didn't really reduce the file size as much as just using WP Smush It by itself, which did reduce it by 119 kilobytes, but it eliminated the image from the server. So who wins in this one? Well, now let's go into our server files and look at these. All right, so I have these four folders. All right, so we have our WP Smush folder. We're going to go to Uploads. And now we see that on this folder for the WP Smush, we have a, a total of one, two, three, four, five, six images that were uploaded. All right, so now let's see about the Insanity one. This one we had one, two, three, four, five images uploaded. And now let's see. Now this one is for having them all uploaded. This one we have five images. All right, so now in terms of folder sizes, but let's take a look at the individual images. And what I'm going to do is take a look at the basic one. We're going to get the properties for that one. 119 kilobytes as we saw. 160 kilobytes for the EWWW image optimizer one as we saw on the sir, on the website. 170 kilobytes for the Insanity one, which is also what we saw on the website. And then for this one, we're just confirming the results. So 160 kilobytes. So the results are similar. But now let's look at the folder sizes. So we're going to go back one level. And now this is for the WP Smotion. Let's get the properties for that folder. 416 kilobytes. We'll save that right there. This one is for Insanity. We have 338 kilobytes for the EWWW image optimizer. We have 576 kilobytes. And then for using them all, we have 322 kilobytes saved on the server. All right, so the end result demonstrates two things. One, WP Smush It is the winner for optimizing and compressing images for the browser side, which means that images that are going to be displayed in the browser with the configurations of WP Smush It will dramatically decrease the file size of the image being presented on your website. And that's good for your users and it's good for your search engine optimization benefit. Now, EWWW Image Optimizer does a great job as well, and so does Insanity, but just not at the same level. Now, by using them all, we can see that on the folder structure, we have a significant savings between just using WP Smush It versus using the all three plugins used at the same time for the um, for the test. Now. This means on your server, you're going to save space, which is very important as well, depending on the amount of space you have on your server. If you have limited space, then this may be the route for you to go. If you don't have limited space and you can have as many images as you want, and it's not a concern, then you may want to just go with WP Smush It, since it will give you the best performance um, on, your, on the front of your website overall. All right, so this shows you that using WP Smush has significant benefits. Again, Insanity does a great job. EWWW Image Optimizer does a great job as well of reducing the file size. And using them all also has its benefits. But the winner for the front end is WP Smush It, reduces the file size significantly, versus the other ones that does reduce the file size, but just not as by as much. And if you want to save on your server side, then you may want to combine them all um, for usage on your website and your server. All right, hopefully you found this episode helpful where we compared three of the most popular WordPress plugins to optimize the images on your website and your server. And these are the results um, on my local environment where I tested each plugin individually 
on separate installations and then again on installing them all on another installation. I showed you the results from the website application and then on the server side as well. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If you have any thoughts, ideas, or suggestions, leave them down in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode.